Hey there, my brownies. Brown vlog number 62 right here. Now, today is uh, Wednesday. However, it was also the NHL trade deadline. Now, this is pretty much the biggest day in NHL, uh, the NHL year, except for the draft day and maybe the Stanley Cup being handed out. So, it's actually one of the most important events that happens throughout the hockey year. And so, to this year... It was a rather interesting uh, trade deadline that was actually fairly active. There are a few years when there's barely any trades t made, but however, this year there were over tw there were 20 teams involved in 26 trades that involved 23 NHLers. So that's a lot of trading going on. There was a few players, in fact, that ended up going to one team just to get traded to the next without even playing. One of those players uh, being Ros Rostislav Klesla. I know I just butchered his name, uh, from the Phoenix Coyotes. He was traded to the Washington Capitals, but that was then traded again. And so, uh, no, sorry, he was traded away to some... He's been traded twice. He's now on the Washington Capitals. Um, however, there were some big names also traded. Marion Gaverick from the Columbus Blue Jackets was uh, traded to the uh, LA Kings, um... It was smart for Columbus to trade him from separate conferences because separate conference teams play each other a whole lot less, and so they wouldn't get to see Gabrick as much. And uh, so anyways, Gabrick is a much-needed goal scorer that uh, L.A. lacks uh, goal scorers. They have one, pretty much the best defense in the entire league, but they cannot score goals lately, and so the acquisition of Marion Gabrick is a huge Huge plus for the LA Kings, which is why I favor them to probably at least make the second round, if not possibly the Western Conference Finals. But that's not till my uh, NHL playoff predictions, which is a totally other video. So anyways, another big name that was traded today was Thomas Vanek. And now, first of all, I think that New York Islanders, they have no clue what they're doing. I'm sorry, if you're an Islanders fan, you actually probably agree with me, your GM sucks. Because he traded Vanek for Molson, and it was just, it was, he lost so much trade value in so many places, he did not get what Vanek was worth, and he shouldn't have traded for Vanek in the first place. Because uh, Molson and Vanek, I see as fairly decent players in their own rights, and I don't see why picks, such huge picks, had to be involved in the Vanek Molson trade, let alone not getting enough in return for Vanek. So, Big loss, I think, for the Islanders, which is why I still continue to see them as losers in the future. I'm sorry. They've traded away so many of their picks to try and make the playoffs, and they don't make the playoffs, and then they trade their players for not enough picks. And so anyways, uh, the other big name that was also mentioned was Matt Molson. Now, he was traded earlier in the year, as I said, between the Islanders uh, to the Buffalo Sabres. The Buffalo Sabres are the cellar dwellers of the NHL, though. They suck. They're in the middle of a rebuild, so you got to give them that. But Matt Molson has left Buffalo to go join the Minnesota Wild. Now, the Minnesota Wild are a very deep, good team, actually. Um, ever since they acquired Zach Parise and Ryan Suter in free agency two years ago, they have started to become what looks like a competitive team. And now with the acquisition of Matt Molson, who is an unrestricted free agent, so he's more of a rental player for the playoffs, which is actually a very large piece of the puzzle for the Minnesota Wild this year because they do have a decent footing in the Western Conference in the seventh seed right now. So they will probably continue to get into the playoffs, and I could see them making the second round, but not much farther than that. Um, there were some other big names. Roberto Luongo was traded two days ago, no, yesterday, sorry, from the Vancouver Canucks, his longtime home of actually 10 years, to the Florida Panthers, a team which he started his career with. He actually started it in New York Islanders, but as New York Islanders always do, they trade away players and they don't get anything returned. So Luongo spent a decent portion of his career with uh, the Florida Panthers, and now he's returning there, to which his wife actually resides in Florida, so that's a plus for him. And uh, I think Florida totally won in this trade. They acquired Roberto Luongo in return for Jacob Markstrom and Sean Mathias. Now, Sean Mathias, 
he's a decent player. I mean, when he wants to be, like, he scores every once in a while, but he's he's only about, he's a fringe player. And then Jacob Markstrom's a prospect goalie who hasn't reached his full potential yet and might not even do that in the first place. So I really think Vancouver lost out. They should have got more for Luongo. But then again, not many teams were actually getting what's deserved, I believe, of players this year. Now, um, a couple of trades that I didn't like from my Oilers were a the Alish Hemsky trade to the Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa Senators also have the same problem, I believe, as L.A., but a little bit less. L.A. definitely needs... Uh, sorry, not L.A. Ottawa definitely needs a scorer and a depth person like Alish Hemsky because they have not found someone to play alongside Jason Spezza, and for all we know, Alish Hemsky actually does have a good shot at that. Um, however, they didn't get much in return for Alish Hemsky. They only acquired a third and a fifth round pick, which I don't believe is enough. However, they also traded a third and a fifth round pick for Victor Fash from the Anaheim Ducks, who is signed beyond this season. So now the Edmonton Oilers, now having signed Ben Scrivens and having... Victor Fash now have goaltending throughout the next season, and I believe one of them through the next two. Victor Fash has two more years on his deal, I believe. Actually, no, I'm wrong. He only has one more after this year. But still, having goalies signed so they don't have to sign anyone in free agency will mean they can go after a bigger defenseman if they wish. And so I see my Oilers being able to get some more people in the free agency, but that's not until... The NHL trade draft happened. Trade draft. NHL draft. Sorry, I don't know where the word trade came from. But not until the NHL draft, which I will do my very own separate video for that. So, there will be more trades, and I might... No, there won't be any more trades, because that was this was the deadline. But I may talk about a couple more trades later on, but this video has gone on long enough. So go out there, eat some brownies, watch some hockey if you were Canadian, and watch some hockey if you're American, and watch some hockey if you're anything else, because hockey is awesome. So are brownies. See you guys later. Goodbye.